How's it going guys? Hope you enjoyed that demo track that I recorded. I had to make a review on this because I am super impressed with this guitar. Uh, this is one of the best guitars for the price that I've played recently. Um, in my opinion it rivals thousand dollar guitars. Basically everything about this guitar to me is perfect. If I could get some stainless steel frets that would make me very happy. But other than that this is basically, you know, a, a serious, stable, great guitar for, you know, mostly metal and, and that sort of thing, but this is a great workhorse guitar for basically whatever you want to do. I mean, you have lots of options on this guitar, but the main thing is it plays incredibly. I mean, I'm really, really impressed. The fretwork is super duper good. Bends and vibrato and that sort of thing feel really smooth, uh, and this neck is super fast, and uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. So, let me run you through the specs. So, so it's a maple neck, mahogany body, ebony fretboard. Um, it's got 18 to 1 ratio Grover tuners that are have like the, uh, the small tuning heads, which fit really well on this headstock. It's got 24 super jumbo nickel frets. Um, you know, because you gotta play some metal on this sucker. Uh, of course, to go along with that, you have a pointy headstock, which, you know, it's a, it's obviously, you know, a necessity when you're playing metal because you have to defend yourself from the crazy, uh, the crazy fans, I guess, or something. It's got, obviously got a hardtail bridge, kind of in the uh, hip shot style, and I mean, it's been super solid and stable and good. It's got some really comfy knobs. They. Uh, are metal, but they kind of almost feel like rubber. They, they're very grippy. It's got the uh, Duncan Solar pickups, which sound great on uh, humbucker and split sounds. And of course, you have a five-way switch here, so you get your single coil sounds on the in-between positions. And the switch is super chunky. This guitar was in a uh, run with a couple of other colors. There's a like a gloss red. There's a lemon yellow. There is a gray. Um, but I think that this blue metallic is extremely well done. I mean, I can't find any inconsistencies in the paint or anything like that. And I mean, they've just done a tremendous job. I really can't find anything wrong with this instrument. I'm trying to find finished flaws. I'm trying to find you know, anything, anything that could be a negative. Um, and, and the best I could come up with was they obviously masked off the fretboard when they painted, and so in some places you can kind of feel a little bit of a ridge going from the fretboard to the back of the neck, just right there. But I mean, I think that's nitpicking. That I you barely notice that. The nuts cut really well. Doesn't hang over the sides. Feels good. Um, stable tuning on this guitar, of course. Um, and they've got some good strap buttons. Even the strap buttons are the, the, the kind that I like. Kind of the Ibanez strap buttons that, or at least that's where I saw them first, um, but they're kind of a little bit of a you know higher quality. And it's kind of cool that they put the strap button on the back of the horn like this. Kind of gets the strap out of the way, which I think is great and really smart. Um, you see this on a lot of brands. Strandberg, I know for sure, has this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do actually like that a lot. So I'm gonna demo the uh, positions with like a clean sound and a little bit of a dirtier sound so you get an idea of what this thing can do. Um, but yeah, enjoy guys. Thank you. 